Ljubljana is somewhere you may not have even heard of, and I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case as it's one of Europe's least hyped capitals. In fact, it isn't even its country's most popular destination as Lake Bled takes that crown. Many Europe-bound tourists are more likely to visit Slovenia's neighbouring countries such as Italy, Croatia and Hungary. However, this destination is a very charming city with plenty going for it. Want to get to know it a bit better or do you want some tips for your upcoming trip there? Then watch on for 5 of Ljubljana's top attractions. Number 1 Ljubljana Castle It's impossible to miss Ljubljana Castle which sits high above the city centre. Dating back over 900 years, the castle is Ljubljana's most popular attraction and whilst you can walk up to it, it's more fun to get the funicular and watch the views unfold before you. Inside the castle there's an exhibition on Slovenian history and you can find out more about its uses over time. But today it serves as multiple things and in addition to being a museum it's sometimes used as a wedding venue, open air cinema and also an observation deck with visitors able to capture exquisite views out over Ljubljana. Number 2. Pressure and Square and the Triple Bridge If you want to get a good showing of Slovenian architecture then head down to Pressure and Square. The space is named after 19th century poet Franz Prejurin, who wrote mostly in Slovenian. The square holds many beautiful buildings, including the striking pink Franciscan church, which is open to visitors. The square is connected to Ljubljana's old town with the famous Triple Bridge, a group of three bridges which span the Ljubljana River. The middle bridge was originally constructed in 1842, but wasn't joined by the two pedestrian bridges either side of it until 1932, when they were added by architect Jose Plechnik, who also had a major impact on the modern architecture architecture in Vienna and Prague. Number 3 Tivoli Park Tivoli Park is Ljubljana's largest green space and one of its most beautiful areas. Created by joining together parks that surrounded two mansions, it was designed by French engineer Jean Blanchard in 1813. Stroll through 5 square kilometres of parkland, walk in between grand horse chestnut trees, past ornamental flower beds and around numerous statues and fountains. There are also nearby sights to see on your way to the park, including the Ljubljana Opera House and the American Embassy. Number 4 Union Brewery Union is one of the most popular beers in Slovenia and you'll find that many of the bars around Ljubljana are well stocked with this local brew. The Union Brewery where the beer is made is over 150 years old and still stands today, producing its original lager as well as several other beers and radlers. The public can find out more about the brewing process and history of the Amber Nectar at the Union Experience. Guided tours run in both English and Slovenian and you'll be taken around by an informative guide who will provide information about the brewery and its exhibits. After the tour you'll end up in Union Pub where you can get your complimentary pint as well as order food if you're feeling a bit peckish. Number 5 Ljubljana's Nightlife One of the things that surprised me most about Ljubljana was its nightlife and once the sun sets this capital certainly comes to life. At the weekend bars are packed and the atmosphere is fantastic with there also being plenty of places to choose from. Then once you start getting to the early hours of the morning keep the party going at one of Ljubljana's nightclubs. We went to Circus which was absolutely banging and is one of the best clubs I've ever been to. Do you have any of your own Ljubljana recommendations? If so, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.